Hey guys, it's Jim. Thanks for tuning in and or coming back. I appreciate it. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about something different, and that is Topaz Studio. Now, if you aren't familiar with Topaz Labs, they've been around for a long time. Uh, and in fact, they're probably best known for a product known as Topaz Adjust, which was actually the first plugin I ever bought like nine years ago or something. And I loved it and used it a ton. And then over time, you know, I sort of started using other things. I went to uh, the Nick Collection, which I've talked a little bit about here, and then of course, last couple of years, I've been all about Luminar and Aurora. But I reconnected with Topaz recently and started checking out Topaz Studio because um, I kept hearing good things about it, but I wasn't really sure what it was. I was kind of confused because um, over the years that they've been around, they built up this lengthy collection of products that they made. They were all plugins, and so they all did different things, and they were all very powerful and very good. But I was getting confused. Because, uh, well, not confused, but the issue was is that if you uh, they all operated as plugins and by the way if you were in a host program let's say lightroom if you wanted to go do something in one program you have to go there and then come back to lightroom and then go to another plugin and then come back to lightroom and then go to a third and that sort of thing and so you started making a lot of round trips and so i think topaz really listened to the customers and the customers were probably saying you know hey um we're making so many round trips it's kind of getting annoying is there any way you can sort of make this easier for us now, this is me guessing. They didn't tell me this. Um, and they did make it easier, and they came out with Topaz Studio. Now, it's been out for, I think, a year or so. And uh, at first blush, I was like, what? It, wait, what? It, what? You know, I, I, was, I was confused, to be honest. And that's because what they're doing is they're slowly morphing a lot of those 17 plugins uh, into Topaz Studio. And Topaz Studio can be your, um, your host or your single plugin. Now, at this time, there are, I think, six products of their 17 that are built into Studio, and the other 11 are not. And I don't believe all, all the remaining 11 are going to make it into Studio, but it is a really big step forward for them, and I think a, a, an interesting and cool one, because you now can, if you're using a host like Lightroom, you can go to Topaz Studio, make adjustments in any of those six products, and then come back to Lightroom. So it saves you a lot of round trips. It's also really powerful. And hey, guess what? Uh, the base version of Topaz Studio is free. Um, so I downloaded it just to check it out, and I've quickly added in all the pro adjustments as well. So let me jump into their website real quick. Um, AI Clear is prominently featured here, and that's a new pro adjustment. Uh, the difference is there's free adjustments and pro adjustments. The free ones, of course, are free. The pro ones you have to pay for. So let me show you. Um, if you look here, this is for Topaz Studio. You have all these here on the left that are free adjustments, and then all these additional ones that are pro adjustments that you would have to pay to add into your copy of Studio. However, you can get a lot done with these basic free adjustments. So you can download Studio today, and I'll put a link down below. Um, if you buy any of these pro adjustments, you can use a coupon code GYMNIX, and that'll save you 15%. That is an affiliate link uh, or affiliate coupon, so I'll make a couple bucks if you do that, in which case, I appreciate the support. Your price is the same either way. Now, they also have uh, sort of their classic products, and so uh, these are the plugins that are remaining, in other words, not in studio, and that's Topaz Adjust, Black and White Effects, Lens Effects, Star Effects, a lot of cool stuff that they do. The stuff that's been moved into studio is now in studio. That's Clarity, Detail, Glow, Impression, Simplify, and Texture Effects. And so what this means is that you have all those adjustments built into Studio, and I'm gonna go show you that here in just a second. Let me close that, let me show you this photo. Here's a photo I'll walk through really quickly. Um, I've got a tiny little point and shoot camera I carry around when I travel. We were in Paris out one night, and that's all I had with me. Tiny little sensor, I mean, it's uh, like a one inch sensor or something, it's pretty noisy. And so I, this is the base photo that I took. And after some adjustments in Topaz Studio, I turned it into this. Now, that's kind of HDR looking, and it's kind of uh, surrealistic, but I liked it. It was just kind of fun, and I kind of didn't care. I wasn't going for realism. I was kind of going for, hey, what can I do that's not just something that I already do in Luminar, for example, or something else, and how can I take advantage of the power of Topaz Studio? So, okay, so here we go. This is the main uh, window. So, of course, front and center, you have your your photo. On the left-hand side, you have all these different sort of things you can click on, right? Now, uh, these are the different apps, starting with Clarity, and then Detail, Glow, Impression, Simplify, and Texture Effects. Those are the six apps that used to be, stand not standalone, but plug-in 
uh, apps, and now they're built into Studio. Future updates for these will come through Studio. So these, to my knowledge, are not really being focused on or sold as plugins any longer. They're being updated through Studio. So click that link and download a free copy, and if you already own these, my understanding is that, uh, once you connect to your account and you do that through their website, um, my understanding is it'll sync and those uh, products will actually show up in your version of Studio based on you using the same email address that you purchased them with. So that's how that works. Now, um, on the bottom, you've got a sort of a viewing strip where you can place multiple photos and click through. I just have this one. You've also got a crop tool, a healing tool, lens correction, masking, a lot of capability here. Uh, and then your editing area or sort of workspace, uh, to use that luminar term on the right-hand side. You've got a histogram there, which I'm gonna collapse that. And then here's where your adjustments go. So you can click in, your free adjustments are here at the top, and these are all the purchased or pro adjustments that you would have to purchase individually. Now, what I wanna share with you is, uh, let's say you like these products over here, but you don't own them, right? So my version of Studio will look different than yours unless you own those products and own all the pro adjustments. So just keep that in mind that everything that I have is not what shows up in the free version. I just wanted to clarify. I don't want there to be any confusion. Um, but they have really cool products. Two of my favorite products, uh, literally of all time, are Impression and Simplify, both by Topaz. Um, and I've used them for years to like uh, create a scene or take a photo, turn it into a photo that I really like. I might edit it in Luminar, for example, but then I might say, I really like that, but that'd look really cool as like a painting. Well, Impression and Simplify are really good at that. And so I've used those for years for that kind of thing. And it's just fun and artistic and beautiful and creative. And so I do that a lot. Um, and it, it, it actually, in my opinion, helps me think better as sort of an artist. Anyway, um, here's what I, uh, you know, what you get is um, with uh, Impression, all your presets are, are loaded there. These are the presets that are built into Impression, right? So you can kind of go through and say, you know what I really want is like a, I don't know, like a Van Gogh sort of uh, sketch. So you can just kind of go through here, find that sort of stuff. Here's Van Gogh, he's down at the bottom because it's alphabetical, and I click on that and it'll create the Van Gogh look in that. Uh, and then you can go add adjustments and customize it if you want to. Now here's the thing that I think is really cool, and that is even if you don't own Impression, there are a lot of presets that are built into Topaz Studio that you will get. Now, if you click on that preset and want to adjust it, if you don't own the filters uh, that are pro adjustments that make up that preset, you won't be able to adjust it. But you can still get a whole lot of one-click presets for free. I think that's really cool. Um, obviously, they're trying to get people to use Studio and dive into Studio and make it the center of their editing you know, universe, if you will. And, and I think it's a, a cool thing. So there's a lot of things you can go through here on Simplify. I think, um, you know, there's here's a basic Simplify workflow. So I click on that and it just applied some basic edits to my photo, right? Um, here's Buzz Sim, which I really like. It's kind of a watercolor sort of look. I like that a lot. I just think it's kind of cool and artistic. Um, Here's another cool feature. And by the way, you notice all these uh, filters show up on the right-hand side when I click a preset, just like in ed any editing program. If you wanna further refine that and you happen to either, if, if it's a free adjustment like basic um, or a pro adjustment that you own, you can click on that and you can see the breakdown of what's included in that filter by doing that. So just keep that in mind that you can expand those. You could expand vignette, for example, and say, well, what do I need to do to the vignette? Maybe I wanna move it around a little bit or change the uh, the shape or the, the size, that sort of thing. Uh, quad toning is actually really cool. Um, and you can just come in here and say, all right, what do I wanna do? And you can pick blacks, whites, shadows, and highlights and change the colors of those. So it's kind of like split toning, except that it's not just um, you know two, it's, it's four effectively. So uh, anyway, here's a cool feature. And that is that if you click on this public, all of a sudden, anybody that makes a preset and um, when, the, when you create a preset in Studio and save it, you're given the option to make it public. So you could effectively create a bunch of presets, make it public, and it'll show up in here. So, you know, some of these are public sort of looks that people have created. And now, it may or may not be to your taste. That's okay, but it's pretty cool. You can't argue with that. Uh, and, and anytime you have a preset, you can come over here to the opacity and just say, well, I like it, but that's a little too strong. Maybe I want to take that down to, you know, 40%, and there we go. So now it's starting to look not quite as intense because I've reduced the opacity. So I think that's a cool thing. Um, 
you've got all kinds of things. I think texture effects is really cool. You got like black and white texture effects. So, you know, you can click on this and make it kind of a sepia vintage kind of look without even owning the textures because they're built in because here's the texture filter. And again, I don't know, let's look here. You click on adjustments and texture is a pro adjustment. So you'd have to be able to own that, but you can see all these different textures are built in. So you can just click on them and apply it to your photo. Again, there's a lot of like, random kind of interesting stuff, but I love these smudgy kind of textures. So a lot of cool stuff. Um, and you can purchase these. You can actually just go to adjustments um, and say shop pro adjustments, click on that and that'll take you to their website. And again, you connect your, uh, your uh, account to, to, uh, to their website. And then when you buy it, it'll download and sync that pro adjustment to your studio copy and you'll have it there handy. So it's a lot of fun. Now, I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna start uh, showing you what I did to that photo and walk you through that real quick. Hang on one second. Okay, so the first thing I started with was AI Clear, and let me go ahead and turn that on. And basically, um, I've got a number of filters here, you'll see. Uh, basically what AI Clear did, let me zoom in. Let's see here. I think you can kind of see that. So if I say original, uh, let me get a little closer. Uh, there's just a lot of noise, tiny sensor, you know, tiny kind of basic camera. Um, and then there it is. However, you can still see sharpness in these, uh, these people walking by and the signs and all that. So I, I love it. I mean, I think it worked really well there. So I was quite happy with the AI clear. Um, after that, I went to basic adjustments. And here, um, as you can see, I just made a few adjustments here with clarity. And then I also did some saturation and temperature and tint movements. And I thought that uh, gave it a nice little uh, bump, if you will. Um, next, I went to brightness and contrast. And so here, uh, let me scroll down. You can see I just gave it a little bit of contrast and saturation. Now keep in mind, the original looked like that. So kind of noisy and kind of dull. And I think we're getting there. Better contrast, better color. So I think it's looking good. Um, after brightness and contrast, I went to dual tone. And uh, this one I love. Uh, it's basically split toning, uh, which I've uh, used in uh, other products like Lightroom and Luminar and Aurora. Uh, but it gives you great control over uh, the highlights and the shadows and the different uh, sort of tones and colors within those. So as you can see, I basically, uh, you just pick the, the hue or the, the color and then the, uh, the color slider is basically the saturation amount. Uh, and so I just bump those up a little bit for both the um, highlights and shadows to get a little bit better tones in the image. So let me show you the before. A little bit greenish, kind of yellow. And then, uh, where do we go? Dual tone, here it is, after. I think it's looking a lot better. Okay, my next filter was edge exposure. And that's basically just kind of like creating a vignette. I just dragged um, this to 0.22, so just kind of slide it to the right, and then I hit apply to all, and it sticks the same adjustment to all four edges. So it's basically kind of like a custom vignette, which I think is cool. Uh, so that was a quick, easy adjustment. Bloom is next, and Bloom's kind of interesting. It's kind of like a uh, soft glow. Uh, let me show you the before. If you look at the lights and stuff, now let me uh, click that back on. It kind of gives them a nice little uh, luminescent pop, right? So it's kind of a soft glow, which, which I think looks really cool. Uh, nights, cityscapes, that sort of thing, it just kind of works. Uh, and then the last filter I used was Precision Contrast. Uh, and that is, there we go. So let me show you that. Oops, let me scroll down here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so uh, here you can just uh, work on the contrast and the lighting, and there's even a saturation and color contrast slider. So let me show you the before and after on that filter a lot, because I think it made a big visual difference. There's the before, and there's the after. So at this point, I'm really happy with the photo, and there's only one other thing I wanna do, and that's crop. Uh, and now, so I just come over here to the crop tool, and you just click on that, and you can see it just brings you straight in to the crop tool. So uh, you could choose your aspect ratio, and I chose 16 by nine, and I think I did something like, about like that. And once you have it, you just say go, uh, or done, and it'll up apply that and adjust it and put it onto your photo, and you're all set. And there's my finished photo. Now, um, there's a couple things you can uh, be aware of if you'd like more visibility to the photo with these little arrows. You can collapse these things, uh, like these menus on the sides, um, and then you can hit fit. And you know, I just got a much bigger view. If you know you've got the filters set and, and you're done with the stuff on the left and don't need the stuff on the bottom, why not make your, your visibility of the, uh, uh, of the image bigger, right? So that's what I did. Let me show you the original. Uh, there we go. 
noisy, kind of boring, really not very sharp. Colors were kind of blah. I mean, it's not a good camera. It's just a tiny little point shoot. So, you know, I can't really blame it. It was doing the best it could. Um, and there we go. Turned into something a bit more artistic, a little bit cartoonish even, um, which again, has its time and place. Kind of fun. Um, regardless, I like what I was able to do with the tones. Let me show you um, a number of these adjustments uh, are free adjustments like basic and brightness and contrast and dual tone, right? Basic, brightness, contrast, and dual tone. Those are all free adjustments. The other ones that I used included AI Clear and Bloom, uh, and these are uh, pro adjustments you have to pay for edge exposure and precision contrast. Um, now this isn't a tutorial about the whole thing. I'll probably come back and do more photos in this just to show you some more examples, but I'm having fun with it. It's a cool product. You can't beat the fact that you, you, you know, you can't argue with free. Again, you don't get everything. You can't get everything for free. Uh, that would make no sense uh, for a business, uh, but you, you get some great capabilities for free. And you know what I did, I tried to show you a little bit of both some free and some pro adjustments, but regardless, you get a lot of presets and stuff for free. It's worth trying. Uh, download below. Uh, if, if you buy any of the pro adjustments, use coupon code JimNix and save 15%. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy this kind of stuff. I'll come back and do some more of these. I'm having a lot of fun in studio. It's a really cool product, and uh, I'm going to keep using it. So thanks for watching. You'll see more from me soon. Talk to you soon, my friends. Take care, and adios.